Toys have come on a long way since I was a kid. I would have been perfectly happy playing all day with a basketball and a hoop out in the yard. These days, there are some seriously awesome things to play with out there. Join me as we talk about 15 of the coolest toys which actually exist. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. German Tiger 1. A remote-controlled mini-tank that shoots actual cannonballs? Um, that does not sound like a toy for kids. To be honest, the German Tiger 1 looks way more like a toy for big kids with big budgets. The tank costs around $700, which is significantly more than most remote-controlled cars. The tank is built based on a real-life Tiger 1 World War II German tank and comes at a 1-16 scale. The remote control toy comes replete with full movement functions including a 360 degree turret rotation, all of the hatches open and close, and the tank can be loaded with real to scale cannonballs that can be fired using the remote. The tank also comes with cannonball sound, machine gun sound, although thankfully it doesn't fire real bullets, engine sound and emulation effect. The tank is battery operated and has a playtime of 30 to 40 minutes at a distance of about 100 meters. There are two versions, the BB shooter and an IR recoil version. Tanks are hand painted and come in three colors, desert yellow, German gray and original metal. The tank weighs around 17 and a half pounds, so they aren't exactly light to lift if you want to take it out to play with in the yard or park. The tank could be dangerous in the wrong hands. If kids are playing with it, they need to be trusted not to shoot their siblings or pets with the miniature cannonballs. Number 14. Woozer Vest the Woozer Vest Pro is a wearable haptic feedback system that makes gaming way more realistic. The vest offers a more immersive VR gaming experience and can also be used to enhance the experience of a VR movie. Essentially, the vest allows the wearer to feel sound as it connects via Bluetooth and audio jack to game consoles, VR headsets, cell phones, and desktop computers. The $510 vest translates sound into feeling by using something called oscillating frame actuators. If you've been playing a game that involves explosions, the stereo rivers will pinpoint the location of the sound and deliver a powerful sensation in that area. Overwatch, for example, is a great game to play for an immersive experience with the Woozer vest. With the vest and belt attachments, the wearer will feel more involved in what they're playing or watching, making it feel like they're actually in a game or a movie. Cool. Number 12. Nerf Strike Elite Terra Scout Drone Blaster Nerf guns have always been fun, but this is the next level. This isn't your regular chase your friends around the yard Nerf gun. This is a remote controlled tank with a video camera and Nerf gun mounted on it. The Nerf Strike Terra Scout stands at 14 inches tall and has two rubber treads. The mounted gun can pivot up and down as you shoot. The gun itself is motorized, can rapid-fire Nerf Strike magazine, and includes an 18-shot magazine and darts. The firing distance is about 50 feet, which is pretty far for a toy. The remote-controlled toy vehicle has a top speed of nearly 45 miles per hour, rolling over 4 feet per second with a full battery on a flat surface. The tank can keep on shooting and rolling for around an hour, which is plenty of time to play. A lot of people's main complaint with the toy is that the attached 720p camera isn't good enough. Most people want a 4K camera these days. The built-in microphone only really picks up the noise of the tank, making it kind of pointless. Other than that, people who have gotten their hands on the toy say that it's fun for kids and adults alike. $210 makes it one of the most expensive Nerf guns ever released. But by the look of it, I'm not surprised. Number 11. U-Jet Electric Surfboard If you have a spare $9,999, then maybe you'd still want to invest in a U-Jet Surfer Electric Jet Board. The U-Jet Surfer is a fully electric, carbon fiber, jet-powered surfboard with the same kind of power as a jet ski. The U-Jet doesn't need waves to provide you with a surf experience, and it has enough power to let you ride for 40 minutes at speeds of up to 24 miles per hour. 
Essentially, we're talking about a board boat here, right? My main concern would be that water and electricity don't mix, but it turns out that the board is powered by replaceable, fully waterproof lithium batteries. The board is said to be comfortable to stand on, although people need to have a reasonable sense of balance. The surfboard sounds kind of awesome, actually. Usually to surf, you have to go to specific beaches and bodies of water during certain times of the year and when the conditions are just right. With the U-Jet, anyone can surf, or anyone with $10,000 anyway. Number 10, Pyro Mini Fire Shooter. Uh, however cool this is, I'm not sure that this is safe. The Pyro Mini Fire Shooter is like a wristwatch that shoots fire up to 10 feet away at the touch of a button. Not only that, it can also be removed from a person's wrist, planted and controlled with a remote up to 30 feet away. I'm not feeling any better about the safety of this thing. The Fire Shooter always allows a person to create fire as in from thin air and is popular with entertainers and magicians who are keen to create an illusion. The wristlet can be tucked to be disguised underneath the sleeve, which again sounds dangerous. The fire shooter has enough power for 120 shots and has a USB charging cable for when it needs to be charged. The Pyro Mini Fire Shooter comes with a warning that it's not meant for self-defense purposes or to be used as a weapon in any way. It's just a device for professional illusionists. It also carries a disclaimer that it isn't for children and it's only intended for people over the age of 18. Number 9. DJI Mavic Pro 2 Drone Is a drone a toy? What do you guys think? Film enthusiasts will love the drone either way. The Mavic 2 has 3-axis gimbal technology which ensures smooth and stable footage all flight long. Light and color performance are top-notch with an adjustable aperture lens for more lighting control. Not only does this drone take great footage, it's also able to take amazing aerial photos with a 20 megapixel camera with a zoom lens and with a 10-bit D-Log M color profile. The drone can predict its own flight path and fly at 12 miles per hour with obstacle avoidance, which means you can fly in through a densely wooded area. A lot of people have hailed it as crash proof, which is good news for the drone. The range on the Mavic Pro 2 is up to 3 miles, which is pretty awesome, although people have complained that it's limited to 1080p cameras. When a GoPro can deliver a 4K stabilized hyperlapse, if the drone sounds like your kind of toy, you can buy one for yourself for $1,729. Number 8. Ninebot Segway Mini Pro. Walking not fun enough for you? Why not get yourself a Segway? The Segway Mini Pro from Ninebot is stylish with a black finish and cool red-gray accents. The 10.5-inch air-filled tires are great for traction and shock absorption. The vehicle is great for a lot of different terrains, and as they are water-resistant, you can still roll in the rain. The hands-free transportation device has a Bluetooth remote control that can lock up the vehicle in headlights and taillights for road safety. The vehicle can travel at 10 miles per hour and can travel at around 15 miles per hour with their battery, which takes 4 hours to recharge. It sounds fun, but I have to say, call me old-fashioned. A bike gets the job done way easier. You don't need a battery, you can travel faster than 10 miles per hour and keep going for as many miles as you want. Segways are fun for what they are though. If you'd rather spend $700 on moving wheels than $700 on a fancy bike, then you do you. Number 7. The Wilson X Connected Football The Wilson X Football is perfect for football lovers who want to track and improve their game. It tracks throw speed, spin rate, spiral efficiency, and distance and syncs data to Android and iOS. The football is $200, so it's an expensive toy but seemingly worth it for metrics lovers. The connected football also comes with throwing games you can play in competition with your friends. The battery life lasts for 200,000 throws, so it's rare that it needs to be charged. Aside from all the fancy stuff, the ball is like your regular NFL grade football, only it costs 200 bucks. I guess the major sell here is that any budding athlete can compare their stats with the pros and get an idea of how they would do it on an NFL football team. Number 6. Razor Jet's Heel Wheels 
This seems way more like an actual toy aimed at kids than a lot of the other toys on this list that seem to be aimed at adults who want to play. The Razor Jet's heel wheels appear to be a kid-friendly version of a Segway. These are strap-on wheels that turn sneakers into roller skates, which seems fun. Each shoe is strapped with two wheels, which makes them sturdier than a roller blade. I remember having a pair of roller skates. They were bulky and hard to get on and off, whereas the heel wheels strap on easily. They weigh one and a quarter pounds, so are light enough to toss in your bag. Worried parents should rest assured. The wheels are covered in rubber, so they won't damage the floor. Not that the kids care. <laughs> one of the best things about the heel wheels is their unique designs. Wheels come in a lot of different colors, and unlike most of the gadgets on this list, the heel wheels come in at under 100 bucks. Number 5. The Nerf Dude Perfect Signature Bow What happens when your favorite daredevil YouTuber teams up with Hasbro and Nerf guns? Well, the Dude Perfect Signature Bow. Nerf guns don't always have to be, well, guns. Sometimes they're Nerf bows and arrows. Marketed by the Dude Perfect YouTube channel, this toy was obviously going to be a big hit. Their video, Nerf Bow Trick Shots, has had over 61.1 million views, which is kinda crazy. One of my favorite comments on that video is from a subscriber who said, I would like to see a video with all the fail tries, <laughs> right? They make it look so easy. The Nerf Bow measures 42 inches and comes with two arrows that can fire up to 105 feet away and whistle while they glide through the air. The bow obviously could be dangerous if aimed directly at a person's face, so each toy comes with a warning, which seems obvious, but I guess this is America. Nobody is ever going to make this toy look as cool as the dudes from Dude Perfect, but it is affordable at $59.99. Number 4. Power Up 4.0 Paper Plane Going to school would have been next level if I had a remote-controlled paper airplane. The Power Up 4.0 is exactly that, a projectile you can control with your cell phone. Not only can the paper airplane fly, it can reach speeds of 20 miles per hour with a 230-foot range and a 10-minute flight time. That's actually pretty awesome. I'd have gotten into so much trouble had I owned one of these. In technical terms, the gyro accelerometer thrust vectoring motors can be clipped into a paper plane or light wooden plane and it will make it fly. The plane has wind stabilization for outdoor flights in windy conditions and a launch assist to help it take off smoothly. You can even buy pro versions with LED lights and make for awesome night flights. Plane creator Shai Goatin put his project on Kickstarter and raised $1.1 million from over 12,000 backers. I guess other people think it's a cool idea too. When the super planes hit the market, they will retail at $79. I can see them going big. So long as the mechanisms stay safe, you can just keep on making new planes, which means it isn't a big deal if they get banged up while you're playing with them. Number 3. Sphero Rover Hello, little robot. The Sphero Rover is an all-terrain robot made for people with a love of building electronics, coding, and even hacking. The small bot is reminiscent of 80s-style electronic tank toys that you could program to explore your house. The Rover, spelled RVR but pronounced Rover, is a battery-powered robot that you can control and program from a Bluetooth-connected smartphone or computer. At its most simple, it's a remote-controlled vehicle, but at its most complex, you can visually code the bot and program more complex behavior. If you're super advanced, the rover can be coded using JavaScript. The robot also has high-torque motors, which means that it can be negotiated through rough and steep outdoor terrain, although it isn't waterproof, so you might want to keep it inside when the heavens open up if you want your robot to stay alive and thriving. Okay, maybe not alive, but you know what I mean. One of the most fun things about the rover is that it also comes with LED lights. Did anyone say robot disco? I think there's a lot of fun to be had here for $249. Number 2. Flash Forage Finder The Flash Forage Finder is basically a 3D printer for dummies and retails at under $400, which is kinda a steal. This little at-home printer is easy to use and has a touchscreen and prints reliably and quietly. 
which is good. A lot of critics say it isn't as good as a bigger 3D printer, but that sounds kinda obvious. The Flash Forward can be a printer for kids to create their own toys, which sounds awesome. Imagine thinking up a design for a cool model and then just printing it right out. The printer is connected to Wi-Fi too, so you can choose a design from the internet and send it right to the machine. I'd have loved watching a 3D printer do its thing when I was a kid. Side note, did you know that there are 3D printers that can print food these days? Now that's what I'm talking about. I'd love to print my own snacks. Number 1. Flybricks This looks awesome. Build your own Lego drone that actually works? Sold! Building a simple Flybricks Lego drone is easy. You can use an app or online instructions to set up your first drone in 15 minutes or less and then use the app to pilot the craft. Crashing a Flybricks is part of the fun. You don't want to crash a regular drone, but a Lego drone can just be put back together pretty easily. You can build and crash over and over again. And when you get more confident, you can start building way more complex LEGO aircrafts. Cool! This is great for people who want to learn more about engineering. And it's fun too. I love that you can put little LEGO pilots in control, but I would choose to pilot my own drone with a LEGO dinosaur. Just cause! Watching your own weird creation taking off would be the coolest. Basic kits cost $190 or $250 with a controller but that's still way cheaper than a regular drone. So that was the 15 coolest toys which actually exist. What did you think about this list? Let me know your thoughts on the toys down in the comment section below. This whole list has made me miss spending hours a day playing with toys, although a lot of the gadgets in this video can be enjoyed by adults too, so I should find more time to have a little fun. It's been a while since I last played with a Nerf gun and I can honestly say that I've never been on an electric surfboard. I still feel a way about the fire sleeve, but maybe if I start playing around with magic tricks, it would be a cool effect. Let us know what you think is the coolest.